Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of these two designs. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I love playing with this swirly tapered style. Um, and anyway, these uh, designs were both done in this script, which uses a combination of modifiers, which are dots like these, or lines like these in conjunction with these different shaped letter stems. So these four stems make the consonants, and then vowels are always smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of the four consonant stems. This all makes the most sense in practice, so let's go ahead and hop to our designs. The script is read starting at the bottom of the words and then going counterclockwise like a time traveler going back in time. And that's why this gray word circle has the arrow here, starting at the bottom going counterclockwise. So this is the first letter of this word here, this one here, and it's a circle inside the word circle, like this. And this line passing through it does not count. Lines only count when they end on the letter stem, so this doesn't have that line counting for it, but it does have one, two, three dots closest to it. So that makes it the letter L, because three dots plus a circle inside the word circle stem is an L. So L, and then we continue around counterclockwise until we get to this letter. And it's a little circle, so it's a vowel, and it's on the word circle, so we're going to check over here, and it's inside the word circle. That makes it an O here. And then we have another little vowel, and it has a line going outwards. So first things first, it's in the base E position. And everything's just one step away from being an E. And O is that it's inside the word circle, and A is outside the word circle. I's and U's are like E's, but I's have a line going towards the middle of the word circle, and U's have a line going out away from the center of the word circle. So this has a line going away from the middle. So this is a U. And then we have an I with a line going towards the middle. So these two are very similar, except this one has a line going inwards and that one has a line going outwards. And the thickness of these lines does not matter at all whatsoever. I just thought it was artistically nice to have them kind of opposite. And then we have our letter E, right on the line of the word circle. So L-O-U-I-E. So Louis is this name. And then our next name is here. We have some sort of decoration sentence circles going around the word circle but they don't uh, count for anything. They're just kind of some decoration uh, I thought helped balance out the design. I didn't have a sentence circle around this one because I wanted it to feel open. Um, anyway, so here is the bottom of this word, and our first letter is here. It's another circle inside the word circle like this one, but the line ends on it. So because it stops on that line of the stem, it counts. So one line, circle inside the word circle, is an N. N. And then we have another O, just like that O. And then we have another big consonant, and it's the same position as the M. It's a circle inside the word circle. And it has one, two, three lines ending on it. So that would be an M. And then we have another I, line going towards the middle. So N-O-M-I is no E. So yeah, uh, those are the two names done in this swirly open style. And I hope you like it. And I hope this explanation makes sense. Bye.